I, Zach, take you, Victoria, as my better half, my best friend, and most importantly, my wife. To spend forever with you by my side through the greatest and most joyful times to the most heartbreaking and difficult times. How you have continued to stick with me through the craziness of soccer, scheduling conflicts, and my short-term memory, I will never know, but I am eternally grateful that you did. And to be honest, Disney just would not be the same without you. I have been eagerly awaiting this day for the past almost six years now, and I know you have been too. It has not been easy, but it has been the most joyful and fulfilling times of my life. I vow to be your rock and to hold your hand through whatever life throws at us. I promise to hold myself accountable in the highest regard and lead you spiritually, emotionally, and physically. You are a part of me and I of you, and I will always put your needs above my own. I will continue to seek wisdom and direction from God on how to effectively guide our relationship to fear Him and work for His kingdom daily. I promise to love you unconditionally through all circumstances, give you my whole heart, and be a man of integrity. I vow to stay faithful to you in our marriage, to always give you a sense of security and peace in the uncertain times, and to continually find ways to better our marriage for the future and what is to come. Looking towards the future, I cannot wait to grow old with you to be the old couple that visits Disney every year and they remember who we are. That is wild to think about, but what is to come is so much more exciting than what has happened in these past six years. There will be more ups and downs, exciting and joyful times, as well as conflicting and heartbreaking times. All I know is that I will continually be there for you through it all and remain by your side. I cannot wait for what's to come, and I thank God every day that I'm getting a wife who supports loves, pushes, and keeps me accountable daily. You are my one true love, the woman of my dreams, and the best dog mom, mom on the market. <laughs> Let's do the dang thing. Let's do the dang thing. <laughs> Zachary Ryan Welch, I love you so much. We have been dating for over half a decade now. During that time, we've experienced a lot of highs and a lot of lows. We've experienced job uncertainties, death of loved ones, and frustrating soccer games but we have also experienced lots of laughs and trips to Disney. But through every high and every low, you've made sure that I was taken care of and loved me fiercely. I would not change any part of our story because those moments not only made us stronger individuals, but a stronger couple. When I first met you, I had a feeling of wanting to be protected by you. I felt safe and secure in your presence. I had never felt that way before. You are the only person who can make Crocs and Hawaiian shirts look hot. I never questioned your love for me, how you loved me through celebrations, and how you loved me when I could not love myself. You have been my voice of peace when anxiety felt crippling, and through those days you have had faith in me and pointed me back to God. I promise to love God first and keep Him at the center of our marriage. By keeping Him as a cornerstone, we will be able to build a home that serves the Lord. I cannot be the best wife without choosing to serve God daily, and I promise to walk into every calling that God has for us. I promise to have faith in you and us through every season in life. Zach, I cannot wait to see what kind of father you become and how you will lead our household. I pray that our children see a marriage that sacrifices daily and loves unconditionally. And the most important part, I promise to go to Disney with you every year, even if that means we have to use our motor scooters. Everyone here knows that you are one of the most selfless individuals. One side that I get to keep all to myself is the vulnerability side of you. God truly created the perfect man for me. 